Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to explain to you why Dice Legacy is and how you play it, you know, the basics. Uh, so why Dice Legacy is? Well, it's a dice based survival city builder set on a mysterious green world. Uh, so our ship uh, is reached ashore uh, of an uncharted continent, you're going to see it in a moment, and we need to roll dices uh, in order to do, well, basically everything in the game. <laughs> so I'm just starting a new game. Um, uh, when you start your game, you have this ruler, uh, there are different scenarios you can actually choose. For example, here you're going to start with the Stranded. Just going to go and choose this one. If you choose the other ones, the other ones you can unlock, by the way. I just uh, finished the first uh, uh, mission and actually unlock these other two. So we can start with different dices. You see, dices here, there are green ones. Each one is different class. So this is uh, the citizen class, this is a peasant class. We're just going to go and start the game so I can explain. You can just choose difficulty and able tutorial if you're just starting the game uh, because this is really helpful uh, to help you out understanding. But still, here I'm going to give you lots of tips and other important things and uh, you know, make you just understand better understand what this game is all about. So, you can choose just uh, easier difficulty. We're just going to go for this just for uh, explanation. This game is uh, very challenging, keep this in mind, especially the higher difficulty. It's very, very hard, especially when you go bring the difficulty up. All right, so we go Dice Legacy. Uh, so let's jump into it. So basically when you start our ship get into a show, you can see that the map design is amazing here. Even the gameplay, very original. You can see that, you know, you jump into something else immediately. So it's not like you're gonna go left and right, you know, like, uh, you know, let's imagine like a Civ game, it's an open kind of an area map, big map here, is that you have this kind of a pathing where you can just um, go through. And here in this area at the top, there's actually an end with the goal is to destroy a harbor at the end, all right? It's not a huge map, but again, getting there, take time. Speaking about time, by the way, at the top right corner, you can actually see you can speed up time. All right, because everything you do will take time. So when you start, uh, you can place the dice here in these areas, right? So we can go and start things. For example, we can start and gathering. I'm just using the scroll uh, of the mouse, but you can actually go here and do this as well with the left click, right, on the mouse. So I can start. Uh, I can do shift and uh, left click to auto place it. So we grab the appropriate uh, cube that matches uh, the icon, all right? I can just go and drag it here. Uh, oh, just one tap, by the way, one tap. <clears throat> so basically now we're actually, yeah, we see the timer, you can speed it up, you see? Now we take seconds, but you can speed the time up. I keep in mind many things can happen and there are other things that of course affect the world when time passes by. So right now we're just gonna gather resources. All right, this one is for fighting. I'm not fighting. You can actually have a situation where you need to fight, but uh, what I can do, I can just roll the dice. I can lock the dice in place using Alt. So if I roll, it won't change and the other ones will change. Now keep in mind, I just wanna undo it. Uh, keep in mind that the number that you see here is durability. So basically if it reaches zero, uh, uh, it's just gonna, I mean, when you get to zero, you have a last time you can actually use the dice. If not, if you get less than zero, you just lose the dice and you don't want that, of course. Uh, so basically that's what we do. We can actually click roll dice and then we roll the dice and then we continue putting them, uh, getting more resources, which we need, just using the shift, all right? And I can roll this one also, see if I get something, no. All right, uh, the other thing we can do is make buildings. Uh, there are some structures you see here, press here. There are many different structures you can put. Some of them need to be unlocked. You can unlock uh, some of them by using the technology tree, you can press T. And there's technology tree here that allows you to unlock different things and of course, other kind of modif uh, modifications uh, and buffs. So this is, you get knowledge by the way with different <coughs> structures, but right now we're just not gonna focus on that. So we can create a, a house to produce new dice. So we can actually put one here, all right? Now we need to build it, of course, all right? Uh, we are waiting for this one, all right? And uh, this one I have nothing to do right now. I got them back. No, now I'm gonna roll. I can actually build it. I need two. I have only one, so I can actually build it right now. Uh, what we can do, we can put here and here to get more resources and put it here. I can roll, by the way, again, if I want to, all right? 
keep in mind that we can continue this area fog of war is we can actually go we see these uh pools we can actually pass through it in order to pass through it and continue we need to put a, a structure that called district hall we need to put it and then it allows it to extend and move further the thing is you can exhaust resources keep this in mind so basically uh you need to continue on to get resources all right uh, kuka's ability to uh, uh yeah this allows us to replenish if a die getting low this is very important to have i'm going to put it here all right usually i use even two so basically let's just uh let me see the timing yeah so first of all we need more dices so the way to do this is to put uh to create this one and then it allows us to create another dice let's see if we have yeah we have this one so let's create it uh i'm going to put uh more here again we collect resources now with the left side you can actually see all the resources we have food we have wood stone gold iron wheat l and herbs these are the resources uh, by the way, the class of the dices will appear here. This is the peasant, so it's in yellow. You can see if they're happy. If they're not happy, of course, bad things will happen. If they're happy, uh, things will be fine. You can see. Uh, effect when please, get extra resources. Effect when angry, building may be set on fire. So basically, when you unlock new classes, they will appear here. So you can have a merchant. You can have something that uh, is for religion. Uh, soldier class. We're going to see here. This is the total number of dices we can have. 12. Although you can have more than 12 at the same time, but if one of these comes uh back and is full uh you need to decide which one you want to keep all right so now we need more so what i'm going to do i'm going to put here two of them you see in the house i'm going to put it here actually yeah two of them i don't need but now when it ends it will bring back both the two and another one so basically i can actually fill up so we can have more dices this means i can do more things so you can actually by the way check the encyclopedia here and you can actually find more information about things your ability empowering all right uh empowerment allows you some actually actions require you to have certain empowerment or a total of and you need to use other several cubes uh or one that has the um, the sum or more in order to use it uh you can construct you see here uh dices using this uh structure they can have certain traits either buffs or something debuffs uh on cubes ascension this is actually very very interesting because it allows you to use a dice I save it um, if you're using the obelisk so you can actually use it before starting a game which is pretty cool i haven't done it just yet by the way but uh something i'm looking forward to in uh, my next game all right uh of course you have different things you can read about them you see in each one there are lots of information but again everything is very simple you don't gonna read tons of text everything is going to be very very easy to understand if you spend a bit of time reading about it but when you start the tutorial it will explain to you everything step by step as you play all right so basically let's continue playing so what i want to do of course is uh i want to build and i want to get new dices so i'm just going to put this one here oh again this is a mistake one uh we need to build this i'm going to shift and use this one we need to build both of them all right very important we need wood all right you can get the wood i put it also by the way wheat um area because we need it wheat you can actually uh, um, use wheat in order to produce uh l and you know we can actually do different things when it comes to uh taking one type of resource and turning into another there are options for that in the game let's just blue wall no not good for us so here it's ready you see it's ready basically what i can do now if i get low and i can actually use it to heal it to heal the durability just gonna put it here all right just gonna roll again i can actually use this to create this one and create more let's see i'm gonna go and food now we have lots of food actually so basically you see here this means that i need food in order to heal for example if i put this one as five durability and i put food uh in 20 seconds we're gonna get it back with full durability all right you're gonna see it you see restore durability to a die all right just gonna speed it up a bit see again another one back six second five second four second two now look what happens i get it back with full durability cool uh yeah so let's continue this one the cookhouse by the way uh 
see f2 for each one so if usually that it happens when you need to uh quickly restore uh dices to the durability so having two is is uh is good uh let's see if i can actually make some wheat not yet i'm just gonna put more here i uh, can do this again i don't have it yet all right all right so basically that's what we are doing the different structures so always look and see what you can actually create now if i want to extend the area i can create a district hall and if i put it here you can see actually the area i can actually now extend now of course i need to build it i'm going to build it now all right uh the different options three upgrades so actually at the end you can actually have the option to create a district which is an area around this structure which can have different type of benefits especially at the end of the scene we have different traits that actually um allows you to benefit from having a peasant district uh, so you're going to put things here or those who are actually already around can actually benefit from being close to the structure all right so these are some strategic options that you need to think about all right uh let's use this one this one we can actually start using here yeah all right so this is it by the way uh we're going to move soon to the next season so you can actually see the happiness is actually pretty good so no problem so let's just can speed it up before this maybe i'm just going to heal some of the cubes oh no i shouldn't do it automatically i need to choose the one that are low probably going to use this one and this one put food here put food here and let's just speed things up <laughs> so we can get actually to the end of the season and i can actually show you we're going to speed it up Ah, I should have put it here, my bad. Oh, here we go. It's getting colder. Winter approaching. So winter is a season. And of course, when you get to the winter, it's going to be snowy. And you're going to see that, uh, well, one of the worst things is we can't actually use this one anymore. Unless we have something that allows us, but we can't, we won't be able to now. Uh, uh, and dice can be frozen. Yeah, just uh, jump so we can actually see uh, how the winter looks like. Uh, it's ready to come in and you can see that one of the dice on the bottom left is actually frozen. Now, of course, I won't go over all the mechanics because there are plenty of them and you're going to kind of find out about them as you play. All right, so this is for all, you know, later in the game, uh, much later uh, when I'm facing lots of these structures and enemies there, I can actually attack them as you can see. There's a cube, uh, there's an icon there that allows me to put the attacking. I have already soldier class dices the blue ones uh the top right corner you can actually see a little structure with a square there uh this is the enchantment chamber that allows me to increase the empowerment of the faces of the dice so i can actually use them you can see number uh, when you are attacking you can see that you need a certain number in order to be successful in your attack now what i did of course i need to clear this structure because i need to create uh district holes to be able to move further and basically what i did i use uh, an item called ballista which actually can just destroy nearby buildings as you can see here i need to load it and then it fires into a nearby structure this is very easy to eliminate uh, those buildings and the arbor structure which is the last one that you need to actually eliminate in order to finish the game well, it's not actually finishing the game, just finishing this particular uh, engagement, you know, this particular run, map. Uh, as you can see here, I'm just trying to... Uh, actually, I didn't need to put it, I think. I've already be able to put a uh, ballista there. I don't know why I did it, but never mind. Uh, this allows me, you can see, to extend the area where I can put things. But it's not needed. Basically, I just created the ballista there and uh, destroyed this structure at the top middle. You can see this one you need to eliminate. Now we can actually finish it without creating all the classes. I actually had during my play, I actually have more classes, but the reason you can't see this at the top is because I actually removed them because I wanted more soldier dices, right? And peasant dices. So actually the merchant, I weren't using them anymore. And when you don't use the dices anymore, you don't have any single dice of the class. You won't actually see this at the top middle you know, section where you can see all your dice classes. So yeah, uh, this is, by the way was an easy mode. There's a harder mode, of course. It'd be much harder. You can be attacked more often. Here in the normal mode, you actually won't get attacked unless you provoke enemies. Uh, so you can try it out if you just start playing and you want to kind of learn and without being too much pressured, you can do this. Uh, but overall, the game is absolutely amazing. You know, uh, I remember you know, when I played Civilization VI, I just told myself, ah, this is just too much. I kind of missed Civilization V, the more simple, simple kind of a board game. Than just something that feels i don't know like what like 
too many things uh you know lots of micromanagement uh so here it's really balanced well so it keeps the fun as a board game not overly complicated but still there are many things that you need to keep in mind so i mean the simple the visualization the map keep simplified but still you have a lot of things that you need to keep in mind in order to make sure that you do well all right so again it's not overwhelming visually and tons of micromanagement but you will have to do lots of things with what you have and keep an understanding of all the options that you have the upgrades what you need to continue getting the resources and keep a good balance so you can actually move forward and be ready to deal with threats that will come uh, you know they can come actually every moment yeah so it's already pretty long but i think you get an idea uh, how this game is played uh, so just start playing it and get more experience uh, of course i will try the harder difficulties and i'm sure it's going to be much much harder and you can fail by the way you can fail for example if you have a riot um if the real day it, it takes time but if you the timer goes out you know and you just lose the game and you need to start from the beginning but again the map is not too long but getting there requires you to keep good balance uh with everything and maybe do trades and, and choose the right policies and make sure you comply with the way you actually uh, build things to make the most out of these policies that you choose uh so again lots of things to actually keep in mind uh, when you're actually playing the game although the visualization of the game leads to the game to look like simple but it's not simple it's actually requires you lots of strategic thinking so this is it uh just try the game it's absolutely amazing and challenging and super fun ui actually designed so well everything just feel like in place for us to support the core mechanics the original core mechanics of the game and it just works beautifully so this is it. I'm going to make more videos uh, for, uh, of course, the final review. But overall, highly recommended get the game. I hope you enjoyed this one and find this one useful. I'll see you very soon on the next video with more videos. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give this one a little like. And I'll see you soon on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.